The Reserve Bank rate cut really fired up the property market on Saturday with an amazing 82% auction clearance rate. And this house, opposite the waterfront in Sydney's south, going for half a million dollars over the reserve. The deceased estate, on the market for the first time in a century, went for a massive 2.7 million. It's a home with plenty of character, but sadly, the buyer was a developer who will knock it down and put three duplexes in its place. The reserve was 2.2 million, and the agent said the family would have actually taken 2 million. Elsewhere, investors were particularly active. Sydney Domain Editor Anthony Laws went along to this auction in Marrickville, and four out of the five bidders were investors. The first home buyer had no hope, with the one better selling for 632,000. 632,000! Hold on! All finished! All silent! Sold, ma'am. Congratulations. $632,000. The rate cut definitely was a uh, blessing in disguise. Like, we weren't expecting that. Um, but, you know, we figured that's probably going to help people, you know, push their budgets a little bit. And, yeah, and, you know, we got the result that we wanted. Mm. So. And reporter Camille Bianchi went along to the auction of this three-bedroom apartment in Camperdown, which sold for $1.25 million. Watch for the lady with the phone. She's buyer's agent, Deborah West, and on the line is a buyer in China. On his behalf, she beat off the opposition to pay 156000 over the reserve. Sold to you, man. $1,256,000. Over in Lidcombe, there were 20 investors fighting for this four-bedroom home. This one had been in the same family for 60 years and went for close to $1.5 million. The agent said the rate cut had added about 150000 to the sale price. He'd taken 38 calls for the property just on Wednesday the day after the Reserve Bank made its move. So what's going to happen to the Sydney market if there's yet another rate cut? Catch you next week.